This video will cover the topic, approximating the equation of a line of best fit and making predictions. In this video, we will learn how to use a scatter plot to estimate a line of best fit, and then use that line of best fit to approximate the equation of the line. We will use this equation to make predictions about a real world situation. We have the example, the scatter plot shows the number of years of experience X and the hourly pay rate Y for each of 23 cashiers in New York. A, write an approximate equation of the line of best fit for the data. It doesn't have to be the exact line of best fit. B, using your equation from part A, predict the hourly pay rate for a cashier with 10 years of experience. Now that we have a problem, the first thing we want to do is draw an approximate line of best fit. I have a quick question about that. How do I know if I have drawn a correct line of best fit? Is there a certain method, or do I just draw it? An excellent question indeed. Here we will use an eyeball method to draw our line of best fit. In general, a line of best fit is a line that is as close to all the data points as possible. There are certain ways to determine the exact shortest distance for each point, and draw a line representing that, but we only need to do a rough approximation. We will examine all the data points and find the best spot to draw our line. Because this is an approximation and there could be several other lines of best fit, this is not called the line of best fit, but is called a line of best fit. So here's an approximation of the line of best fit. Now we are ready to work on part A of the problem. Do you know how to find an equation of a line given only a graph? If I remember correctly, I just use any two points and plug them into the slope formula to find the slope and then I can use the point-slope formula to write an equation of a line. Correct. Looking at our line, we can see that two approximate points are around 2, 8.5 and 20, 17. Let's plug these into the slope formula. Our slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So in this case, it is 17 minus 8.5 over 20 minus 2. After doing the subtraction and the division, we get that our slope is equal to 0.4722. So the slope is approximately 0.47. We can now use this slope and the point, perhaps 2, comma 8.5, to figure out the line's equation. We write it in the point-slope formula as y minus 8.5 equals 0.47 times the quantity of x minus 2, because the point-slope formula is y minus the y value of the point we're using equals the slope m times the quantity of x minus the x value of the point we're using. We can add 8.5 to this side and distribute the 0.47 into the, the equation to leave us off with y equals 0.47x minus 0.47 times 2 plus 8.5 because we add the 8.5 to the right. After multiplying the negative 0.47 times the 2 and adding the 8.5 together and doing our final simplification, our final equation is y equals 0.47x plus 7.56. And this is our final equation for our line of best fit and our answer for part A. Now are we going to plug in some number into this equation and solve for part B? Yes, we are. If x is the number of years of experience and y is the hourly pay rate, then we see that 10 will be the number we plug in for x here to solve for y because it wants us to know, um, it wants us to predict the hourly pay rate for a cashier with 10 years of experience. So after doing that, we get y is equal to 0.47 times 10 plus 7.56. After doing the math, we get that y equals 12.26. This means that a cashier with 10 years of experience will have an hourly pay rate of $12.26 per hour. That makes sense. Just to review, I draw a line of best fit 
by drawing a line that is as close as possible to all the points. Then I find two approximate points on this line to write the equation of the line. And then I can use this equation to make predictions. This is a useful concept.